Hello, today I'm going to show you an old school drawing trick inspired by the George Morrison show at the Carnegie Center for Art and History. He was an artist who lived in New Albany in the mid 1800s. He and his wife Lydia had four children, three of whom also became artists. Uh, his daughter Mary Morrison, also known as Minnie, was also a painter and she has two paintings in this exhibition. Um, they were all making art during a time when there were very few art schools in the country. So back then artists had to learn by working with another artist or in Minnie's case, learning from her father, uh, George himself, or by copying examples from master artists if they had a chance to see any examples. So I'm gonna show you an old fashioned way that the Morrisons might have used to copy pictures and it's called pouncing and here's how you do it so have you ever wanted to copy a drawing or a picture onto another piece of paper um, well all you need is a piece of paper with a picture on it a printed picture or a drawing and a piece of cardboard that you put underneath then you just take a thumbtack and you go along the lines, the contour lines of your drawing or your picture, the main lines, and you take that thumbtack and you press into it, um, kind of almost like you're making a dot to dot drawing. Um, and you kind of go along the biggest shapes just like that so that it pierces all the way through the paper. Now this is a painting of Minnie Morrison that is in the show, as you might have seen. Um, she's the one who was also an artist. She was born in New Albany in 1853. This painting was done by her father, George Morrison. So I'm going over her eyebrows, um, her eyes, not getting too detailed, but just kind of getting the biggest and most important shapes that I want to copy. And when you're done, you should be able to see through the holes, see the light shining through. Next, you'll need a piece of condensed or compressed charcoal. You put it inside a piece of muslin. You fold it up, put a rubber band or a twisty tie around it. Make sure it's really good and tight so that that charcoal doesn't come out. Then you need to grab a hammer. You might need an adult to help you with this, but you're going to place that little pouch on the ground outside and gently hammer it until that charcoal is pulverized into dust. Don't overdo it now and don't hammer your thumb. Now you're gonna grab a blank canvas. You can buy this at an art store or a nice piece of paper. You take your picture with the holes poked on it, place it right on top of that canvas or piece of paper. Make sure you hold it there tight with one hand so it doesn't move. And you dab that little charcoal pouch and um, maybe smear it or, or move it around over the holes so that your black charcoal dust goes through all of those holes. Again, make sure that you hold that picture tight so that it doesn't slip. And then when you lift it up, you'll be able to see what might need a little bit more pouncing until finally you'll be able to remove that piece of paper and see the drawing underneath. And now you can copy that over top of it with a pencil or paint and you are ready to create your copied masterpiece.